I'm joined by Simon Barr from Daimler Fleet Management. Simon, we've just sat through a round table at the mm. Oval in London with local authorities, the blue light uh, people in, in the emergency services and had quite a day haven't we? It was a great day actually, uh, quite a diverse day in terms of the themes and the topics that we covered. Yeah. What were the key things that you took away from today? I think one of the key things is that people are doing a lot of work already um, to electrify their fleet and to drive the emissions down, um, probably not publicising it enough as they should, hiding their light under a bit of a bushel and actually perhaps if I'm going to be slightly judgmental I'd say that they're seeing barriers when perhaps some barriers are being taken away now and, and I think the point is that we're now at a stage where they can move on to the next stage yes. and get around that barrier. Yeah. So, so I think that barrier can be removed and I hope that what we spoke to them about today is going to help them to go, go away and actually think, right, now I need to progress to the next stage in electrifying my fleet. Indeed, and that's where what DFM do is so important because you help to uh, give people knowledge and the information that they need to make informed choices and to, to demystify, to take away those prejudices that they may have. I, I, I think that's a good point, demystifying, because there's a lot of... Um, rumour out there, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of um, pre-ordained ideas about electric vehicles and to a certain extent we're preaching to the community with people today but again because the industry is evolving so quickly it is helping them to get to the next stage of, of the development of a cleaner fleet quite honestly and I think, I think they're there don't you, I mean that they were engaged, they wanted to make it happen. It's uh, almost as though the public sector are embarrassed by their successes. Right, rather well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fair point. And, 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 and you know what, we should be hearing a lot more about the success yeah. stories. Yeah. And whether it's from a police force or a local authority. And some of the stories we heard today about the innovative projects that they're um, implementing with manufacturers, um, helping them out as well. And, and we, you know, we need to know more about it. Yeah. It's great to see great enthusiasm and people who are committed to doing the right thing in delivering the most important services to our society and community. Absolutely. And, and you made the point about all of the years of experience around this table today. If they can take that experience and help the next generation move forwards, whoever is eventually going to come in and run these fleets, mm -hmm. wow, you know, that's, that's really future proofing. Uh, for a clean of fleet for years to come. That's the sort of thing us old codgers are going to do. We're going to pass <laughs> right. it on. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't hold it in. Just, just uh, enable people to move on to the next stage. It's been fabulous to have you here. Thank you, Simon, Thank for you, your John. support. It's been a good day. And, uh, look forward to the next time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank good you, my friend. Thanks, John. Thank you.